Hello everyone, I'm Matt Watson, a business development manager here at Deep Sea Electronics. Over the next five minutes, I intend to provide you with a quick overview of the features of a COTIS 3.5 programmable 4.3 inch display that we manufacture here in the UK called the M840. Before we look at the display, I'll tell you a little bit more about what's on the inside of the product. So the M840 has an ARM Cortex M4 and an M0 processor inside with a 200 megahertz clock speed, 32 megabytes of RAM and 16 megabytes of flash storage for your application space. This is housed within a really robust and rugged housing specifically made for harsh environments. Now it's worth noting that this is an embedded system which means that the boot up time of the device is really fast. If we quickly take a look at the software used to program the device, you will notice that it is the industry standard CodeSys 3.5 Service Pack 12. As you can see, this is displaying the M840's device descriptor, which can be downloaded from our website. This will automatically load the features that you can program within our device, such as the CAN bus ports, the inputs, the outputs, the buttons, and also the camera input. As well as the device specific features, we also have our own library. So you will be able to download this as part of the device descriptor download as well. As part of CodeSys 3.5 Service Pack 12, we also have the PLC PROG. This can be used to manipulate the visualizations that form part of the M840 screen. So this is where you would put your own graphics, which would be displayed on the M840. Now the display is booted up, you'll be able to notice the clarity of the screen. So this is a 480 by 272 pixel glass screen. So this makes the screen really tough, but the real reason the display is so clear is the optical bonding of the glass. This gives the product a real wide viewing angle, but it also prevents misting of the display. Moving on from the screen itself, you'll notice that this product has 14 backlit buttons in total. The backlight is controllable through uh, CODIS 3.5, so you can turn these uh, backlights off if you want to, um, but you'll also notice the advantage that this product has is that you have navigation keys that you can use down at the bottom. So you could use these, nav these buttons down here for navigation of the pages, the escape and the okay for the same thing, and you could use the buttons down the side for fixed operations. So that's what we've done with this demo. So you can see that there are some different pages on here. Um, that we've just shown you that you could use and it gives you the different uses of the keys. Moving around the product you'll notice that the M840 can be mounted um, in many different ways, uh, one of which is through the four fixing screws here. So these actually remove and then you can put a screw fixing through the back of the product and then the plastic can go back onto the front to provide a neat finish. Alternatively, um, you can use this ram mount option at the back here and just put it on a, uh, on a ram mount. Now that we're at the back of the product, you will notice the multiple connection points on the back. Regardless of this, the product still has an IP67 rating, which means that it's sealed. In order to help equalize the pressure inside the M840, we have this breather gland here. In addition, we use a standard Deutsch DT16 connector. On the connector, we have a supply positive, a supply negative, but also have an ignition pin for saving variables on shutdown. We have four inputs, 
which are capable of being programmed as analog, not 10 volt, 4 to 20 milliamp, or digital, high side or low side. We have four digital outputs capable of delivering one amp, which can be high side or low side, and a voltage reference output to power sensors. Additionally, we have two CAM ports capable of J1939, CAN open or raw CAN, a camera input for reversing camera, and also these two M12 connectors here. The top M12 connector is an Ethernet port, so this can be capable of Modbus TCP IP comms, and it's also how you program the device. So after you've programmed it, you could put this seal back on and the product would stay IP67. The bottom M12 connector, this is a USB and this can be used for updating the device, but also can be used for data logging as well. If you don't have either of these two cables um, to program the device or use a USB, uh, then we do sell them. Um, they're available from us and we also sell the Deutsch connectors at the back and if you require a full harness from us then you can purchase all of these directly from us. The M840 itself is readily available and it's been out on the market now for a while so if you have any further questions then please feel free to get in touch with us or contact us directly on LinkedIn or sales at deepseaelectronics.com. Thank you.